Glaciers cover about 10% of the world's total land area. And when you think of them, what might come to mind are these super massive chunks of immovable ice. But some of them are anything but. Gem Glacier, the smallest one in Montana's Glacier National Park, covers only about five acres, which is like five football fields. And the Alaska Almanac states that the state of Alaska alone is home to 100,000 glaciers. Also, they move, maybe not so fast that you can watch them drift like a boat over water, but whether glaciers are crunching downward through valleys or spreading away from a central point, these ice masses slip, slide, creep, and crawl across the surface. Scientists say most of the world's glaciers are shrinking, though some are getting larger, and investigations are taking place worldwide. CNN's Holly Furfer recently took a tour of one that's said to be the largest U.S. glacier that's accessible by a car. Glaciers, majestic and mysterious. These icy giants make up about 10% of the world's landmass, remnants of the last ice age, and they continue to transform as new layers of snow bury and compress the layers before it. Here in Alaska, about 100 miles north of Anchorage, sits the Matanuska Glacier. It's about 27 miles long, four miles wide. So we thought, hey, why not hike it? First, we needed a guide. In the winter especially, glaciers can be dangerous because you can't see below the snow. Everything on the trail, safe. You take one step off the trail and there might be a hole there. So it is really important that we do stay on the trail. So we joined guides Tiffany and John from Salmonberry Tours for our glacier hike adventure. We drive right up to the edge of it and then we put on gear. Uh, we have spikes for our feet. We put on helmets for precaution. After a brief introduction to the glacier, we were off. Now we got some moose tracks right over here. This is so cool. We get up to some high areas where there's some terrific views of the surrounding valley. Um, and all the while we're looking around at the features of the glacier. Um, there's black ice, basal ice, uh, there's moulons and crevasses. If you were wondering what those are, so were we, but not for long. Part of our adventure was the hike. The other part was learning about these massive natural wonders. Uh, a crevasse is a crack in the ice, um, various sizes. Uh, some are small and some can swallow a vehicle. So moulons are holes in the ice. Um, they, uh, they form when flowing water flows off of it and it sort of erodes into the glacier itself. And it creates some really amazing features, just kind of weird sort of carvings inside the ice. A giant hole in the ice? Okay then, let's check it out. So we're gonna go in here about uh, two at a time. You don't have to be perfectly physically fit. We always like to know if you have any uh, limitations physically before you come out. Um, it's nothing extreme in terms of going up or down inclines but uh, just be prepared for stepping on uneven surfaces. We're only about a mile in, and the views are becoming even more spectacular every step you take. Perhaps what's most remarkable besides the dramatic landscapes is the vastness and the stillness of the surroundings. A lot of times when I take groups out there, I'll, I'll get to a point on the tour and I'll say, okay, let's just stop, and uh, let's just take a couple minutes and listen to the silence. And it, it, without fail, after like a minute, you just, you just kind of start looking around and you're like, you can feel that, can't you? People that come out, um, they might be a little intimidated by the cold or by the drive. You know, we take care of a lot of that. And so we try to make it so that it's um, something that you can really, you know, you can really take memories back. It's not something people do every day, right? Say that you walked on a glacier. It's, it's really unique. 